restored our book to 140. This is the day that Lord has made. Because without him, we would not have this day. So we want to give him all the praise and all the glory to his matchless name by saying this is the day that Lord has made. Let us be glad in it. Rejoice and be glad in it. This is the that Lord has made.
faith in Almighty God by repeating the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe you the most the only Christian church, the coming of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting.
are here for a reason and purpose. And we know the reason and the purpose for this movement. Those of us who do not know and we can't remember, it is pertaining to the crime situation in the land of Trinidad and Tobago. So we are here in one accord. We're not supposed to be looking at one another. We're going before God with beauty of holiness, in filial fear, and in loving gratitude. And we're going together. Together. Together we're going together. Oh, God. Oh,
somebody finish, somebody should just jump in right away. My God, my God. If I call, I'm going to call her there. Hello, Jesus. There we go. We don't want to lose the little tail. So, somebody, there we go. Hello.
to all of us who are here, all minister and ministering servants of God, everyone who are here with us in this gathering, to the people of Lambo, to all those are, who are within the hearing of our voices tonight, good night. God is so good and his mercies endure it forever. I want to tell the people, my people, who are here gathered with us, the people of Lambo, and all those who are listening tonight, let us amend our ways and our doings because Jesus is coming again. He is coming like a thief in the night. Whether we ready or not, he is coming again. Tonight we come with no strange story, but we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Because he is our savior and he is the savior of mankind. He is telling us tonight to take heed of our ways. Because he is coming again. People of Lambo, people within the hearing of my voice. Let us take stock of our lives. Because the master is not happy with us at this time. Too much of blood is on the land. Many people are being hurried to the tomb. Where will they spend their eternity if they die not in Christ? So tonight I am begging all of us to remember there is coming a day when we have to give an account for our stewardship upon this land. We have to be able when he asks us the question of what we have done. Will we be able to answer him correctly? Christian friends and brethren tonight. Now is the time, it's a serious time in our lives where we have to choose. But sometimes I say there are no choices. The only choice should be Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Because every day we are hearing of diseases, of privation, of starvation. We are hearing of pestilence. We are hearing of earthquakes. We are hearing of waves and floods and everything. Who is doing that? Are we ready? Are we prepared to meet the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Where will we spend our eternity? Some of us have not even understand and come to the realization that we are nothing without Jesus Christ. We are walking daily like if we have it in our hands that we are our own God. But the only God I know is the God of righteousness. The God who made the heaven and the earth. And he is calling us. Let us stop washing the land with the blood. Let us stop doing the things that God does not like. Young men, young women, you would have remembered when you were small and want you to trace back, those who are alive, trace back. What did you promise yourself when you were a young child growing up? I want you to be this and I want you to be that. Why are you not those things? Why have you suddenly changed? Why have you forgotten God? Just remember that he did not forget you. You would have forgotten him. So tonight the appeal to the young men, the young women, those of us who are involved in crime, let us remember, where will we spend our eternity? For eternity is short. Where will we spend our eternity? Too many people have been hurried to the grave. Young men, young women, all of us here, we have a response. And our responsibility is to tell them whether they hear or whether they forbid. We have to tell them and remind them that there is coming a day when they have to give an account for whatever they would have been doing on this land. Where would we spend our eternity? It's a question that all of us have to answer. Because there are things that we are doing that is so wrong and we think it is right. But there is one thing I know that spells the same way. S-I-N remains sin. And regardless of what we do, he said not one shot shall enter the arena. 
The word of God is coming to you because I want us to understand that time is running out. Whether you have your ticket or not in hand, Jesus is coming again. So right now, you have an opportunity to swing your heart to open. You have an opportunity, as I hear somebody say, to come over. Come over on this side because I want you to understand that hell is real. And heaven is real. He said, whosoever believeth in him, his desire is that none should perish. But that all must have everlasting life. What you desire here? Ah, these things that here, they are temporal. I want you to pay your insurance tonight. Pay your insurance tonight so that when the summonizer, the death warrant comes, you're going to hear come in blessing. Come and inherit the kingdom of God tonight. If you're hearing tonight, I bid you to come on. I bid you to come home. There was a prodigal son. He was brought up in the Lord. He was accustomed to be in shelter. But he wanted to do his own thing. And so he took what his father had for him. And he went out. He went to a far land. And when he went there, things that look greener on the other side. But it's far from green. And so I want to tell you tonight that just as the prodigal son, Jesus is waiting for us to come home. He is waiting with his arms wide open. Come over. Come into that safe place tonight. If you do not have a place of worship, I'm not introducing you to Baptist, but I'm introducing you to the true and the living God. Whatever church that preaches the everlasting gospel, that says to us, believe, be baptized for the remission of our sins. Enter into the doors tonight. The doors are open wide. Wherever you used to go and you're saying, look, I don't want to find somewhere and serve God in spirit and in truth. I encourage the people of Lambo tonight. Don't let this word come to your door. Don't let it come to your home. And you didn't take it. Because you see, you see warnings? Too late, too late shall be the cry. When Jesus of Nazareth. Because nobody knows when that warrant will come. If I didn't know when he come in, I would have set me house in order. We see the sun getting hotter. We could barely, we could barely bear the heat today. And so, if you know what good for you, hell double and triple times. Seven times hotter than that. And so let us prepare ourselves. Is it that we preparing to go to that celestial home? Where we will hear, where we will hear the songs of Moses and the Lord. That new Jerusalem, whether you believe it or not, the skies will be rolled back one day. And he is going to be coming out. He is coming back as no baby Jesus. But he is coming to die for sins this time. He is coming for prepared people. So prepare in the way of the Lord. And make your part with Have your ticket signed for glory. Hallelujah. Oh, have your ticket signed for glory.
lose our knees and pray as we never pray before. Because it is getting difficult and more difficult as the day comes. What a privilege we have that we can be on this spot of our ground tonight. Some would have wanted to be here, but they couldn't. Either they be hospital or somewhere else. But we have a privilege that we can continue to stand on the promises of God to enlighten one another and to encourage one another. Be of good courage. Wait on the Lord. Fresh faith and courage. Don't say my way. Because you know Jesus is the rock on which we stand. And we have a strong foundation. So I'll say chapter 9. May God bless you and keep you. True, yeah, true. And continue to work in the vineyard. Yes. It is not easy. But oh God, help you. Have mercy, Jesus. A charge you have to give. Oh, yes. And I'm yes. going to glorify it. I never died so to say that one day you will be fitting for this time. It may seem tedious. It may seem hard. But trust only in Jesus. And He is going to see. Oh, God is your strong salvation. Christ in a vessel ride on the stones and stand full as the rock the truth shall stand still roll the earth shall cease to move and I see we have some brothers here I see the media man there and I see we brother across there and I see we have some young men in the midst and time for them coming out because most of the time it's just the ladies running just the female coming out but when I see the men folk, I say yes. Christ is the head of the whole man. And he promises in spite of the circumstances, he going to see us too. Yes. So men of God tonight, stand firm in the liberty where which you are called. And my sisters, to God be the glory. Great things he has done. I see have a young sister across there. She's one of my children from Signal Secondary School. When I see them, so I just feel proud. My little sister, continue to stand up for Jesus. Stand strong. Don't let nobody, nobody deter you from serving your God. Because nothing in this world is good for you at this time. So bless thy poor God. Bless thy brothers and sisters. And fresh faith and courage. All in Jesus' name. I heard your voice. Of Jesus say, I am this dark world light. Look on to me, thy morn shall rise. And all your days. God be bright. Pleasant night to the patriarch, to the bishop, to the to everybody. Time, time, time. I beg for time and time. There's a situation on we land. And I want to bring it right down to the nitty gritty. I had a friend. No, I shouldn't say had. I have. Yeah, because he ain't there. He's my friend. I have a friend that was supposed to travel. He big in the thing. He write up. He colour tall. He bed broad. Money is not an option. He got to the airport. And he did not have his ID card. He had a ticket in his hand. But he didn't have an ID to change the ticket to a boarding pass. Everybody know the man. The man have it on the phone. His friend have it on the phone. Everybody have the ID on their phone. But he did not have his ID card in his hand. To the people of Lambo, to the people that can hear me, to my brothers and my sisters, my elders, as much as we want a ticket to glory, identification.
question is important. Go ahead, go you ahead. are your sister says she walk in kingdom walk. Amen. Go ahead, she go ahead. dressed in kingdom dressing. She eat in kingdom All food. Brothers and sisters, let our identification shows who we are. Have it in your walk. Have it in your talk. Have it in your dance. Oh, yes, Hello, somebody has said time. But your identification is important tonight. We could get the ticket. We could get the leeway, but hello, there is a security standing at the gateway and he's looking. When he break the book, he going to your identification, he going to your status. Let your identification show who you are. Let us walk according. Hello, somebody. Let us walk accordingly. This is not a Baptist thing tonight. This is a God thing. Because Jesus is calling. And he ain't calling the Pentecostal alone. He ain't calling the Adventist alone. Hello. He calling somebody way down who never heard about Jesus. There was a man in the Bible. He read. He read in day and night. He can he read in lockdown. Somebody asked me. Do you understand where you're in? You say, oh, I don't understand what I love a teacher. The same knowledge is power. But if I understand in it, I have any knowledge. But if I understand in it, how I go, how I go walk it? You understand me? I walk in kingdom walk, I talk in kingdom talk. But if I go to put me whole armor on, hello, so when I stand in, I stand in on the promises of God. When I step in, I'm walking with me authority. Because I know my identity. Amen. And if I have my ID card, hello, when the enemy see me, the most he could do is back. Yeah, why you go back back? Because my father before me, hello, went to a particular place, and the devil went behind him and started chipping food. Think about you hungry. Come, man, if you only do so, like, like you go for the dog, like all the Baptists are going to do so, if you do so. The angel will come down, and I got to tell my friend, and he will say, I can't even bow before me. He said, boy, hey, hey, hey. Carry me. Tell me not the Lord. Tell me not, boy. So he meant that he walk that kind of walk, with that kind of authority. And he said, in the last days, he said, greater things you will be able to do. But you know what? We don't want to fast and pray, you know. We don't want to shine up. We are the IDK, I don't know. Today, your IDK is different to the one you had 10 years ago. Go ahead. Your IDK today has been upgraded. In Jesus, we don't want to upgrade. We want to stay where we're there. We shelter in under with parents and that good. But that day will come when I will call Right side of my mother, and right side of my father, and right side of my grandparents, and right side of my bishop, and right side of the patriarch, and they go ask me a question. And when they ask me the question, <laughs> even if I look to my left, or I look to my right, hello, none of them care. Me. My identification, my identification, my mark. Why I have to give a call. Yeah, 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 yeah. They say when, yes, I will time. They say when, when a time come in, take your important document, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in a plastic bag, and then put them in a barrel and label them. So in the event of something, they're secure. Hey, hey. So why we don't want to go in with Jesus' script? Why we ain't want to seal up with you, Jesus? Is up. Hey, that be good. I'll write that down. I'll go Google that one. Wait, when you have a Jesus, is up. Oh, Come to somebody. Why we don't want to secure ourselves in Jesus? So that when this storm blows, hello, we have a rock. We have a rock. And when we find a rock, we could anchor. Come now, buddy. Come now, man. We're talking identity. I want when I walk in the road and the enemy see me, they was afraid to bother me. 
I say, a man, tell me why you say, why are you talking so? You're talking like if you, you, you have no faith, you have no God or what? She was looking for an easy way up for them because trials and tribulation rocking their mortal body, rocking their finances, rocking their children and their grandchildren and their generation. She start to weary. Oh God, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me flip the script. He says, talking like if, you know, like we ain't no way you come out. Come now, man. If you don't want to stand by me, stand behind me. I have this because God has this for me. I know my identity. I am the ID card and a walking bowl. If you weary, stay behind me. And if by chance are pushing through and resistance coming, because you're behind me, just track me. And if you track me, you mean a care back? I can't go in, I can't go back. When you pull into the wall, if the two people jam, is a tie. But when you look beyond, and you see who is your kingdom warriors, oh God, choco, 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 choco. We bought to win this fight. So the people of Lambo, and to my own people, and to my own self, all who know me, all who know where to find me, have no fear. The day is going to come when the anointing is going to be on you, and you, and you, and you will be able to do great things. But until such time, check for your ID card. Check your status. Make sure it has your name. Make sure it has your date of birth. Make sure it has your height, your weight, and your blood type. Make sure when the time comes and you are asked a question, you could answer because you know your identity. Amen. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come on to me. Oh God, lay down thy weary one. Lay down your head upon his breast. Thank you. Thank you. Love of people, thanks for the time. Like my about thanks to the opportunity. I know we might take away some of your finances because things are selling quick because we're talking Jesus out there. But God is good. Because you have an opinion to the word of God, your blessings will be multiplied. To the villagers that hearing, to those at large, the Lord Jesus say, I love you all. I love you all. Stay protected. Stay covered. Oh, somebody tell me that. That's the Lord. God is good all the time. But you know what? I come in though. Without us, God is God. Without God, we are nothing. So if you want to be something, hold on to God. Time enough we move away from holding on to him, my God, man. They teach me to sow. You know where the hem is? The tear gate. I want to be wrapped up in Jesus. I want when he want to raise up his hand to cover somebody, must tell me, oh God, give me a chance to cover them too now. First, I want to be covered up, bound up, and bind up. I know somebody. But they all be bounding up, binding up, and tying up with self. According to the mother, walk with your children. It's not about this thing. Send them somewhere like preaching the word of God. If they're going somewhere else different to you, when all come home, all could have a conversation about the same God. We got to think of one another fancy about God. And we got to get a true understanding because we're going to be testing one another. And God in the picture, He got to multiply the blessings. So to brothers and sisters, I want to say pleasant. I want to say to each and everyone, continue to walk in your precept. Identification is important. You think it is good? But get your idea. Because when you reach by the gate, I know who they are. They say, just be a boss in the city. When you see me, I was in I said, go back to one of them. He said, go back to the gate, run in trouble. Because he was only five years in the way. 
So we have to be careful. But get, let us understand our identity. So that when we reach by that gate, and the question is asked, we must have a unique card. They must have paid money. They must have paid ticket. When you go in the airport right now, you buy your ticket online. When you go to the counter, they don't want a reference number. Can I see your ID card, please? <laughs> your body passing. They don't want to know when you buy the ticket, how much you pay for it, and where you tend to go. They don't want to know that. They just want your ID card. And they will give you the necessity. God has given us an identity. Come on, somebody. God has given us an identity. Oi! If you see, uh, right. So what we got to do? We must stay close. So that the shining of us, one to another, will be pick and pray, fight with fire, and blessings will keep coming. Blessings after blessings. Present good night to each and every one. Come forward, I'll try.
the wrong thing Man. towards his This is the prayer of my heart. Before I leave, I would like you all to sing for me when mothers are sick. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because to cross over, 
day. They just plant a seed and do the work. Because it is not an easy task. So enjoy your desert. Enjoy your desert. And learn to command the scorpions and the other snakes and the other And drink your cactus that when you walk, you walk, and you, and you meet the fire, and you get your direction. And if a storm comes, you will not stop. I will not fall. When you walk in the night, praise the Lord. I will carry on any further. Without God, I can do nothing. With a voice, I am nowhere. With a voice, my life is empty, like a ship without a sail. Let's go back. Where is that? Where you be? television every day and we observe that the numbers keep going. And then we say to ourselves, another one. Well, let me say something. For the past five years, murder toll has been in excess of 500. Every year. When we look at it, the ages, the average age of the people who are whiter within the 
So that means it good. I draw all the pictures. But to make this one, get it. I know the people are trying to begin to get jealous. Because it's here very often. But let them know we are not taking you out. He belongs to all of us. I thank Almighty God for bringing you and bringing you to And may he continue to spend you and direct you. And you'll be that beacon. A light shines all the time. Oh, and then it shines burn up. And the beacon flashes ever so often. And beautiful and warm. Continue to be a beacon in the honor and glory of Almighty God. I thank you. Praise to God. At this time, we are going to call no father but our patriarch. Bring us God. Spirit of faith, calm down. Father, we come before your presence, O oh God, with thanksgiving. 
We thank you, O God, for this part of our ground. We thank you for those that would have allowed us to be here. Father, we thank you for this community, this village called Lambo. We thank you for even the young men on the corner that, you know, in spite of everything, they were listening to the word. Father, we thank you for all those that have ministered your word this evening. We thank you for granting us traveling mercies, for, for bringing us here, O God, and for keeping us. And Father, even when we leave this part of our ground, we pray, God, that you will take the lead. Father, as we spend some time in this wonderful place called today, oh Father, we just ask you to intercede for us. Among us this evening, oh God, that there are many that will need prayer, but we pray, oh God, this evening, that the hosts of God will encamp around us, and that, you know, Father, you just want to keep us from whatever danger, whatever harm is before us, that, oh God, this evening, let your anointing fall upon us. We beg in no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Father, this evening, every strength and every Thing that we ask of you, we know, oh God, that you will grant to God. Father, we know a deliverance is there for us. Only when we are about to receive it. Father, if only we will open our doors and according to the very word, how much do we really want it? In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray. You know, Father, you have delivered Daniel from the lion's den. You have delivered Meshach, Shalach, and Abednego from the fiery bullets. You have delivered the children of Israel from Pharaoh and his host. Father, you, you have always been there for us. And we know, oh God, that you will be here for us in Jesus' almighty name. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we offer prayer. We offer thanksgiving in Jesus' name. We pray, oh God, that all those that are listening on the social media, that you bless them in Jesus' almighty name. Father, we just want to thank you. We just want to give you the praise. We want to glorify your name. And know fully well, oh God, it is not by our will, but by your will, we shall be back in this land, not only to preach against and to spread the word against Christ, but to bring the church and to bring every spiritual Baptist church into the able in one of all the Father, those that sit on the high seat, I know you promise you will pull out the mighty from the sea and you begin to exalt some humble and be. Father, we pray, oh God, this evening in Jesus' almighty name, that the church become one foundation in Jesus' name. We thank the Lord this evening. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody just Amen. 